Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I've got a very cool little car to show you. This is a 1931 Ford Model A Roadster built by the Shea Company. And they built cars, they built uh, these uh, Model A's and 55 Thunderbird replicas, and they were sold through the Ford dealers with a warranty. So the cool thing about it is, is not only does it look exactly like a Model A, but it's got all updated suspension, uh, wiring, engine, drivetrain, the whole nine. I'm going to take you through and show you all of that, or most of it, uh, but this is a very cool car. Now, finished off in this good-looking burgundy uh, color with the black fenders, and you can see the nice little pinstriping. The artist did a really nice job. You can see the nice depth. This is a base coat, clear coat paint, and you can see pinstriping along here. The pinstriping is very nice. They did not overdo it. It looks excellent. Um, wheels and tires, now they wouldn't have come with these wheels and tires. It would have been a spoke style wheel, but these are 15 inch American Racing polished torque thrust, and you got these nice radials all around. These are 215s in the front, and I believe those are 265s in the back. Uh, uh, front disc brakes, uh, power steering, I mean it just this drives nice. Over here, let me show you the engine compartment on, on this side. Now, just like the Model A's back then, you have this little bracket, put that down. You can see back in there. These were a 2300cc, so it would have been like a Mustang 2, Bronco 2 engine, uh, 2.3 liter, four cylinder. And they produced about 88 horsepower, but this one's had some nice little upgrades, such as uh, that exhaust manifold, uh, it's dual exhaust. Once it gets past, or you know, before the muffler, after the muffler, it becomes dual exhaust. I'll show you that too. Um, got a new two barrel carburetor on it, you know, electronic ignition, those kinds of things. So uh, it really makes it nice for driving in today's world. The suspension. Uh, Tubular A-arm, front suspension, independent, which you wouldn't have had back in the 30s or 20s when they built these. So a lot of nice upgrades to make it so that it's fun to drive and a pleasure to drive. Got your nice running boards, nice black fenders. Paint's nice. Little wing winds here. Got this nice tan canvas a convertible top so you can put the top down and cruise around in open air. Show you the interior on this side. Interior has been completely redone with this nice matching sort of burgundy fabric. Wood grain dash, and that's actual wood. Uh, these bucket seats, I, they kind of look familiar, familiar to me from another uh, type of rig like a Mustang 2 or something, but I can't place it. It's been a long time. Uh, this is a C4 automatic like you would have found in a Mustang. Uh, Three-speed automatic shifted on the floor. All the gauges work. All the lights work. Little wiper works. The horn works. Everything, everything works on the car. Turn signals. Got a tilt steering column. Now back here uh, here and here is where you would step to get into even the rumble seat. Rumble seat finished off similar to the interior. You've got a seat belt back here. Very clean, very nice everywhere you look. You even have your vintage style tail lamps, which would have been from the actual Model A era. The bumpers, same way. This one has the spare in the back. They did make a model where the spare was on the side. This particular one has the spare on the back. Uh, here's the dual exhaust I was talking about right here. You can see it really sounds nice. The uh, differential is a uh, Ford 8-inch, and 
It's got a four-link rear suspension with coilover shocks, uh, and they're adjustable. So, you know, I mean, it's really kind of overkill for this little car, but that's great. That means you probably won't ever break it. But uh, all the shut lines and whatnot, uh, as you can see, as well as even the doors, I'll show you that here in a little bit. Very nice. And now on these, when they change this out, this is where your fuel filler is on the Shea right here. Originally, you can see up here, this is where it would have been on a Model A, but they, and the fuel tank was under the cowl. So that was, remember, you, the story was that if you ever got the fuel too low, you had to back up the hill, you know, so, so the fuel would, but uh, that's where it is now. Take you in the interior on this side. Running boards are excellent. The Ford step there. Matching carpeting. Got this nice wooden matching steering wheel. Horn works, like I told you. Uh, it's got an I did it steering column in it, so that is tilt. Electric heat, uh, electric fan for the engine. Tops in excellent condition. This is just a sweet little car to drive. Now, you'll notice, see, they overlapped, and that's how these were. See the overlap there? They didn't, didn't have to butt up to the back panel, but that's how Model A's were. That's how they were originally, and they just maintained that exact form. System here, uh, as well as updated wiring and whatnot. Sorry about that passenger train. At least it wasn't a freight train. They last a long time. And by the way, these hoods, you know, some of them are very cumbersome and you gotta be extremely careful what you want to be, but they close really nice and easy and clamp down very easily. Got your 30. 31 grill with this grill protector here and the, the Ford script. Headlamps, similar to original. The originals would have been bigger. And then these are your turn signals here. So completely street legal, uh, of course, and just a pleasure to drive. You can see uh, maybe the suspension there. Uh, let me take a minute to tell you a little bit about the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com, where I've got pictures of the 31, of course, but also pictures of the undercarriage. I want you to see that as well. Uh, you'll be able to tell, you know, it's very nice and clean under there. I mean, these were professionally built. Uh, they were built in a company that used four individuals to put each car together. So they didn't have a big assembly line. So it really is a very nicely built car. They're very cool. But what I'd like to do now is uh, I'll hop in the car, start it. You'll hear it run. It sounds great and I'll just drive it around the parking lot a little bit uh, just to give you an idea what it uh, looks like and what it sounds like moving under its own power and I should point out amazing steering radius I mean you could turn this thing on a dime which you probably couldn't have back in the day let's do that
nice and easy to run, super easy to steer. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm one-handed steering. It's like power steering. Uh, you got the old school little uh, windshield wiper up in here. It works great. Again, nice real wood, actual wood dash and gauges. All the gauges work. Tilt steering column. You know, it's comfortable seating. It's just excellent. You know, if you want something, if you like the Model A's and you want to actually drive one and can go anywhere, this is an, an excellent, excellent option right here because, you know, it's, it's updated drivetrain and it's it's all you know authorized by Ford when they sold it. So these are really cool the models that came out. But if I can answer any further questions for you about this 1931 Model A Roadster Shea, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean and this is the Business Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763. Thank you for watching today.